for our infantry, the most feared was not the fire that came from the ground, but from the sky, where attack planes dominated. For our Europe, it was the Sepakat Jaguar. In the early 1960s, the Royal Air Force needed an aircraft to replace the obsolete Foreland Gina T1 Channers and Harker Hunter T7. The French Air Force was also looking for a replacement for the Lockheed T-33 and Fuga CFS. By coincidence, France and Great Britain collaborated to develop the Sepakat Jaguar to be used in the air support and nuclear strike roles. Jaguar had its first flight on September 8, 1968, and entered service in 1973. However, both the French and Royal Air Force have now retired their Sepakat Jaguar fleets, and the only country that still maintains this line of attack aircraft is India. Even so, the success of the Sepakat Jaguar during its lifetime is undeniable, and more than 540 Sepka Jaguars were produced during the period 1968 to 1981. Essentially, the Jaguar is a single seat, square wing, twin engine monoplane design with a tall, tricycle-style retractable landing gear. It has a length of 55 feet 3 inch, a wingspan of 28 feet 6 inch, a height of 16 feet 1 inch, an empty weight of 15,432 pounds, and maximum takeoff weight is 34,613 pounds. The high-mounted main wings allow for a wide range of weapons options to suit its ground attack role. Internally, the airframe was fitted with self-searing fuel tanks to resist ground fire. An in-flight refueling probe was added to help extend its range. A total of seven armored weapons had points, including four underwing, two overwing, and one satellite, for a weapons load of up to 10,000 pounds. Typical weapons fitted included the Matra LRF-2 rocket pod, BAP 100mm bombs, Matra AS-37 anti-radar missiles, AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles and rock eye cluster bombs. The Royal Air Force Jaguars gained several new weapons during the Gulf War, including CRV-7 high-velocity rockets and American CBU-87 cluster bombs. Finally, the Jaguar was equipped with either a pair of French DEFA cannons or British Aiden cannons. The Jaguar International had the unusual option of overwing pylons used for short-range air-to-air missiles, such as the Matra R550 Magic or the Sidewinder. This option freed up the underwing pylons for other weapons and stores. The Royal Air Force Jaguars gained overwing pylons in the build-up to Operation Granby in 1990, but French Jaguars were not modified. Jaguars Fly performance is provided by two Rolls Royce Turbomeca Adore Mark 102 afterburning turbofan engines with 22.75 kN drive thrust H 
and 32.5 kN with afterburner. Jaguar can reach a top speed of 840 miles per hour or Mark 1.1 at sea level and 1056 miles per hour or Mark 1.6 at 36,000 feet. The combat range is 506 miles and the service ceiling is 46,000 feet. The Jaguar was exported to India, Oman, Ecuador, and Nigeria. The aircraft was used in numerous conflicts and military operations in Mauritania, Chad, Iraq, Bosnia, and Pakistan, as well as providing a ready nuclear delivery platform for the United Kingdom, France, and India throughout the latter half of the Cold War and beyond. In the Gulf War, the Jaguar was praised for its reliability and was a valuable coalition resource. The aircraft served with the French Air Force as the main strike aircraft until July 1, 2005 and with the Royal Air Force until the end of April 2007 and was replaced by Panavia Tornado and the Europe Fighter Typhoon in the Royal Air Force and the Dazzo Rafael in the French Air Force. Jaguar's sole operator is currently India. Indian Jaguars were used to carry out reconnaissance missions in support in the Indian peacekeeping force in Sri Lanka between 1987 and 1990. The latter played an active role in the 1999 Kashyyyk War with Pakistan, dropping both unguided and laser guided bombs. The Jaguar is also used in small numbers for the anti-ship role, equipped with a Sea Eagle missile. The Jaguar remains an important element of the Indian military, as along with the Mirage 2000. The Jaguar has been described as one of the few aircraft capable of performing the nuclear strike role with reasonable chances of success. My video about Sepakat Jaguar Ensure. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.